What's up guys? Three things that I learned from my trip to Washington DC this past week uh, for the 4th. Uh, I want to start doing this for all my little trips that I'm doing like I said in my past videos. Uh, I want to start traveling once a month to different places and so um, you're probably going to see more of these videos in the future. Also when you're traveling it's not about only having fun it's also about learning other cultures and constantly learning new ways to live. And so uh, with that being said, I wanted to bring you the top three things that I found very interesting about my trip. Now, the first one is pretty it's broad. These are all pretty broad, but I find it super crazy that I woke up in Atlanta on Wednesday and was able to be sleeping in Washington, D.C. before the end of the day, uh, Wednesday night. Not only that, but I woke up, I went to my corporate 9 to 5, then I came back and went to the gym, did some work on my business stuff, and then got an Uber to the airport, and then got on a plane, and like within an hour and a half, I was in Washington, D.C. And it doesn't have to be Washington, D.C. It could be like Las Vegas, like it could be anywhere. Okay, so what I'm saying is, you know, there's really no excuse nowadays to say, oh, it's too far away, oh, it takes too long to get there, because I can be at the other side of the country in four or five hours, and that could just be at the end of your day. You could sleep on the plane. It, you know. So that's the first thing I learned, is that the world is so small nowadays that you really should get out and explore, because most other generations before us didn't really have this opportunity. Like 50 years ago, 50 to 70 years ago, this was really not a possibility. And so live your best life and travel more is my first thing. Number two is you really don't have an excuse to not get everything done in your day uh, that you say you want to get done in the day. So like if you're kind of like me, the day before... Basically, let's say today, I'm scheduling for tomorrow already. So I have uh, a bulleted list of things that need to get completed uh, for tomorrow. Tomorrow, And so what I'm saying is there's no reason that those can't be completed by the end of tomorrow. You have no excuse. Let me explain. So even though I was not at home and I was staying with friends, I was still able to get done with all of my normal activities that I would do at home or at my place. And so, you know, you wake up at eight, you do some work for your corporate nine to five or whatever study for school, whatever it would be. And then you spend time with friends and then you do some work for your side hustle thing, passion, whatever it is. And then you go work out. And then you go out with friends, you go shopping, you know, you go whatever, you go eat, you come back, um, maybe get some other work done that you have, whatever, and then transition into just going to sleep. And like, whether that's like drinking a little bit, watching a movie, chilling, going to sleep, whatever it is, you don't have an excuse to not get everything done. The Let's say you have three very important things that need to get done in the day. You have all the time in the world to do those as long as you go to bed at a reasonable hour the night before and wake up at a reasonable hour the day of. 11 to 8 is 9 hours. You don't even need 9 hours, okay? So that's what I'm saying. If you go to sleep at 11, wake up at 8, you should have all the time in the world to get your things done. Don't get sucked into saying, oh, I'm just going to play video games for a couple hours because you're, even though you may like that and that may be your passion, you also are, in a sense, escaping your reality. And you need to somehow bring your passion and reality together if that is what you really like to do. Or if you're watching movies or if you're watching TV, whatever it is, you know, don't spend too much time doing one thing because that's how your days get sucked away. Anyway, that's one other thing I learned. Uh, and then the last thing I wanted to talk about was life is what you make it. And that sounds extremely broad, but listen, um, I was staying with an older couple uh, while I was in Washington, D.C. They're in their 60s, okay? Now, 
at first I was like, wow, they're, they're, you know, they're probably going to be old. Like they're not going to be doing anything, blah, 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 whatever. But that was not the case. In fact, they were probably more productive than me at times. Uh, and I found it super interesting because I think a lot of people believe that when you're older, you're not going to do as much and you're going to sit around the house and watch TV and do nothing basically. But that's really not the case at all. Or at least that's what I thought. Um, because you know, when they were, they were out doing things all the time. They had scheduled things like days in advance and they were just excited to be out and, and living, you know, they'd wake up early, they'd go to bed at a reasonable hour. They'd get, they just make the most of their day and they did what they liked. And that was so intriguing to me because, you know, if you take care of your body at a young age, you eat healthy, you work out, you're continually learning new things as you get older, life when you're 60 can be just as fun as life when you're 20. And so keeping that in mind, I hope that you guys kind of gather some of these. It's hard for you guys probably to make the connections as well as I did because I was actually there. But, you know, maybe some of you guys already have this connections, whatever. But I'm going to be doing this more in the future. I actually just scheduled a trip to, uh, we're going to go down to Florida for Miramar Beach, my girlfriend and I. It's going to be a nice little end of summer trip. Um, but I'm going to have another video when we get back. And it's going to be fun. I'm excited for it. I love the beach. She loves the mountains, but it's whatever. We'll, we'll go with it. Um... But yeah, anyway guys, I hope you guys found this video helpful. And, and as a disclaimer, if you ever have questions about my life or if you need help on a business venture or business inquiry, feel free to reach out to me. I'm completely free of charge. I just want to help people. That's what my, this Instagram is about. And yeah, all right guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.